Hello guys, today, few days didn't see you guys, and um, today I am so excited to show you a few new options for my audio. Uh, now what I'm using is a um, Rode Video Micro without the uh, wind muffler, the big bulky uh, dead cat stuff. So this one. So I'm not using that but I am talking straight to the microphone and straight to um, the camera. So today I probably have to cut the video into pieces because I'm not switching audio gear. And also the gain settings not gonna be the same, but all I want to do is to show you guys um, different microphone and different settings, how it affects the audio. Same room, same settings, uh, 1 50th of second, 16 mil f2.8 with Canon RP, uh, digital serve lights on but no enhanced and also manually setting the gain. At the moment the gain is at about 35 to 40 percent. I'm using the video micro, uh, video micro on top of the camera uh, on the hot shoe. All right, so bear with me here are the microphone I'm gonna show you guys. I'll grab the equipment. First is this one, uh, the one I've used a couple of times. This is the, a dynamic mic from SE Electronics. It's actually an instrument version. It's called a V7X, right? So what I found uh, a great test from a YouTube um, musician, uh, Anton, I can't remember his name, sorry. I'll put it on the description below. Um, I found his test and he reckoned, and the V7, which is a vocal version, uh, has better um, plosive re rejection. It's better um, for um, spoken words application. Uh, so it's a little bit bigger, if you guys can see, it's a little bit bulkier, a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, the V7X has a slimmer um, head, but other than that, they are the same, same dimension, but they use different, um, so I'm gonna switch it now. It's quite a long thread. careful with the capsule so I'm gonna put the V7 bigger head into this capsule they are interchangeable they are interchangeable so this is the V7 version by using the V7X uh, capsule, which SE Electronics actually have a special edition of this configuration. It's called a, a Miles Kennedy special edition. Unfortunately, in Australia, there's no retailer currently carrying that stock. And I've emailed three of the top Sun and Music, Sun and, and their distributor and they say, yes, we heard about this special edition with no idea when it's gonna come to Australia, no availability date whatsoever. So I have two options. I either can buy it from Canada, which one retailer can ship worldwide, or it's buy from the US, uh, from the big Sweetwaters or um, b &H. However, the USPS has stopped a normal parcel shipping to Australia due to all these pandemic COVID restrictions. Uh, which means I have to pay for at least an express shipping, which it cost this thing in US cost 15 US dollars, the uh, V7 version, the, the metal grill. Um, to ship it here cost about 35. So all up, it's about 50 US dollars to get this piece. It's kind of not worth it. So what I did was I can't get the special edition. So I emailed SE Electronics. They're very responsive, they're very quick. Within one day, they arranged the Australia distributor to email me and call me and say, hey, we can send you this. 
the V7 grill to use on your V7X. That's what I did. Um, it still cost a pretty penny with the shipping and all that, but one day, instead of weeks and weeks of waiting, I got the product. I actually got it for a few days. Today is the first time I opened the parcel. Been busy last few days. All right, I'm gonna end this section of the video here, and I'm gonna switch mic and change the game and let you guys hear this mic with this grill. Bear with me. Hi guys, I just switched the mic. I'm gonna do some uh, post-processing to link all the videos together today. If I could do that, I haven't done that for a long time. Uh, this is the mic, V7. V7, it changes the sound inevitably. When you change the metal grill, it changes the sound. How the handling noise, how the handling noise. Uh, the capsule is supposed to be suspended, so it shouldn't transmit too much handling noise. How is the handling noise? I try not to talk directly to the mic because I know the plosive, the pizza pepper pecco pronto plosive, yeah. Hello. But I quite like this mic because the V7X capsule have really flat uh, frequency response and plus the V7 grill has really great uh, noise rejection and plosive rejection. So yeah, this is what I want to use indoor. This is what I want to use indoor. Yeah, you guys let me know. You guys let me know. What do you think? Um, I quite like it so far. I quite like it so far. And now I'm going to introduce you another purchase I made shipped all the way from Europe, a North, North, Northern European country, Scandinavian country. You guys might have guessed it's Sweden and Roger from Line Audio. They make some very tiny condenser, small condenser, small diaphragm condenser. This is their new model, uh, not new, a few years old now, CM4. Look how small it is. Look how tiny it is. It's the same size as that video micro thing, as a small diaphragm condenser with XLR input. XLR input. Small like this. Unbelievable. Unbelievably small. Right? Um, that's with the included mount, right? So I'll leave it here. The IK Multimedia iPre2 can supply uh, the Phantom 48 volts from the two AA batteries. So I'm gonna give it a test. It is said uh, the battery life on the greatest. Uh, let's see. I, I hope it lasts at least one or two recording sessions. So let's see how the audio compares. I I love this. I love this audio. Uh, I don't know the volume, but this now RP is only three notches from zero and the gain at the iPre2 at eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. The better thing about the iPre2 is they have the numbers on the dial, on the gain dial, so you know where you are at. And next time before you start recording, you don't have to do a lot of testing with your earphone. You just look at the number. Okay, eight out of ten. Last time it was eight out of ten. Yep, this time it's 8 of 10. Bang on. Every interface, every preamp should have this. Have a number. How difficult is that? Have a number on the, on the gain dial. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same XLR cable, but change the gain settings again and see how it works with um, a small diaphragm condenser mic. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Right, so now I have switched to this small condenser, small condenser. It's got a wide cardioid pattern. So I'm putting it about six inches away from my mouth, six inches away from my mouth. How is the audio sound? The gain is at a six on the iPre, iPre2 uh, mic preamp, analog mic preamp with the phantom power on. And the, um, RP settings is the same, so three notches from zero, the mic preamp. So the XLR cable goes into the iPre2, and then from iPre2, 3.5 millimeter goes into Canon RP. So how is the audio sound? The condenser mic 
obviously going to be more sensitive and pick up a lot of room noise. So I keep quiet. You guys have a listen. How is the room hum? Room hum. By the way, I had the air conditioning turned on. I will turn it off now. How the sound compare? How the sound compare to the V7X? V7X. Is this capture more details of my voice? More details of my voice at a six inches away. Six inches away. Is the sound better today? Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to know because I'm gonna buy a stand, a little table stand, and put it there. And if it works, we can potentially put it out of the frame, out of the frame, out of the frame, and facing towards my mouth, facing towards my mouth. So the high siblings, the high, um, what's the word? I forgot. The high frequency part of the human voice usually captured in the front of the microphone. So the ideal position would be about here. Yeah, that about 12 inches away. It's a bit like mic it up. So I can do like this. I can do like this. Ignore the cable thing. Ignore the cable. It's a bit like like this. Okay, imagine I'm doing a vlog like this. I can do like this. I can do even like this. Oh, no, it's getting to the frame. So I'll, I'll do like this and see how it goes, right? If it works, it might work for us, right? I can free up my hands and it will still get great audio. I can free up my hands and get great audio with a little tiny pencil condenser microphone with included mount and everything. So that might be a great solution. I don't have to hold my um, V7X. Well, the V7X is great for vocal anyway, um, but I need to use up one of my hand. And this one, just imagine I'm not using my hand. I'm trying to not to get too disturbed. All right, this is actually only, what, uh, about, about 30, less than 30 centimeter from my mouth. Less than 30 centimeter from my mouth. Yeah, and you guys can, yeah, I'm using one hand because I don't have any stand at the moment, but if I, I um, boom the mic up, that will be like that. Yeah, actually this way is better. Yeah, you can see? Yeah, so actually uh, it might work. It might work. Yeah, all I need is just a magic magic grab and with adapter, I can make it work. All right, uh, that's very exciting. I can even do a small, uh, very short, very short um, XLR cable and then I can leave it a sort of half permanent. Oh good, that is all I want to show you guys today. That is all I want to show you guys today. Should be very little coloration because the line audio as the name suggests they specialize in no color, very linear response for all of their audio products and CM4 is their latest and greatest. So it's very linear, it's very good with instruments, it's very good with drums, violins, guitar and piano and it's also worked very well with uh, audio uh, as a uh, stereo pair. But I'm only used as a mono input for, for my spoken words. So I hope, I hope it uh, uh, provides uh, some sort of upgrade sound quality. I have to listen to my recording um, before I, I put everything together. I'll put th all three videos together and it's just an, a comparison between video micro road, um, a handheld stage mic, instrument stage mic V7X and line audio CM4. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I see you guys next time. Bye for now. Ooh.